So it looks like DJI is back in the spotlight again. And this time, one of the big talks is around their upcoming Osmo Action 6. Between the Neo 2 buzz and a few other rumored launches, DJI has been keeping everyone on their toes lately, but this one's getting a lot of attention for good reason. A few days ago, leaker Igor Bogdanov shared what seems to be the first real promo shot of the Action 6, the kind DJI usually uses in its official marketing. The only problem? The image is super blurry, so there's not much to pick apart. Still, the fact that DJI's promo material is surfacing means we're inching closer to launch season, and that's when the interesting stuff usually starts slipping out. Oh, and if you're into following leaks and want to stay ahead when DJI finally drops this thing, hit subscribe. It's free, and it saves you from playing catch up later when everyone else is talking about it. Now let's talk about the fun part, um, the upgrades. Because DJI's been on a roll this year, remember the Osmo 360 with that wild new square sensor? Or the Mini 5 Pro that launched with LiDAR for precision focusing on a compact drone? Yeah, it's been a crazy year. DJI's clearly in full experimental mode, trying bold new stuff instead of just polishing last year's designs. And it looks like the Action 6 is next in line for that treatment, or maybe the Neo 2, depending on which one drops first. Now, the first big upgrade, a 1 over 1.1 inch sensor, that's noticeably bigger than what most action cameras pack. A larger sensor basically means more light, more detail, and better control in those why is it so dark in here moments. Think cleaner shadows, richer highlights, basically footage that just pops more. But the, the real highlight is the variable aperture supposedly ranging from f2 to f4. And that's not just a fancy number, it gives you control that most action cams simply don't offer. Shooting in bright sunlight, you can stop it down to f4 and save those highlights from getting blown out. Filming at night or indoors, open it up to f2 and pull in more light without introducing that gross ISO noise. You won't get DSLR level blur, of course, but it's definitely a smarter way to handle changing light. Here's where it gets even better. If you're into color grading or tweaking your footage afterward, this setup's going to give you way more flexibility. Bigger sensor plus aperture control means less noise, more dynamic range, and fewer, ugh, I'll fix it in post moments. Now, the one thing that makes this interesting, and slightly risky, is that a variable aperture means moving parts. And for a rugged camera that's meant to survive bumps, splashes, and the occasional crash landing, that's a bold move. So it's going to be really interesting to see how DJI manages durability and how smooth the aperture transitions are during recording. There's also talk of improved stabilization and workflow tweaks, which could make this camera a dream for creators. But like with every leak season, we'll have to wait and see what's real and what's just hype. Either way, the Osmo Action 6 isn't shaping up to be a minor update, it's looking like DJI is actually trying something fresh here. And if you missed our earlier breakdown of the design changes and new features, check out that video next, it'll give you the full picture. Catch you in the next one, peace.